Also happening this weekend, the Beta Breakers run. It has been a tradition in San Francisco for more than 100 years. Well, one man in the East Bay started running it in the 1980s until a Parkinson's diagnosis made him hang up his shoes. This Sunday, after 20 years away from the race, his son is making sure his dad crosses that finish line one more time. We're rolling. Here we go. The euphoria of a good long run is a distant memory to 78 year old Dan Cochran. It was good to get out and clear out the mind. Dan's dedication to running kicked into high gear in the 70s and running in the Beta Breakers event became a yearly tradition. The camaraderie, the feeling you get from participating in an effort with a big group of people. But 20 years ago, Dan was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, putting his favorite pastime on the shelf. The doctor told me it was a short period of time or a long period of time, but I'll be in a wheelchair eventually. I decided that I didn't want to just take that laying down. Right, here we go. While still young at heart with a strict diet and routine exercise, Dan has stayed out of that wheelchair. We're 20 years into it. I'm doing, I'm still doing okay. He has been running his own race, beating the odds regardless of his diagnosis. It's just having Parkinson's. That's a quote of his own that he wears proudly on his shirt. And it was a reaction to people's reaction to me. Um, and they, they look at me like I'm dying or something. They see the, uh, they see the wheelchair or the bush cart and uh, they have a terrible look on their face. I say, don't, don't worry, it's just nothing Parkinson's. Strong enough to play ball with his son, hitting wow. the pavement for a distance run is no longer an option. Do you miss that? I miss it, yeah. Yeah, it's just, just too hard on my back. So his son, Robert, figured out a way to get his dad to cross the Bay to Breakers finish line one more time. I want dad to know that there's still hope. Every step of the way on Sunday, Robert will be there with his dad as he makes it through the seven mile course across the city with some help. But all of a sudden the chair came. It was like, we're doing this. And so, yeah, we've been on about three or four training runs and there's been some adventures. I didn't think I'd ever be doing this again, but we found a way to, to, to beat his back one more time. One more time with a physical push from his son, Dan is reignited with hope to once again feel that runner's high. Feels like somebody's behind you pushing. It's a real, uh, real light feeling, but it really feels good. Do you trust him to get you across the finish line? <laughs> oh, yeah. What a great duo. And Gianna, what I thought was so special was that his son has watched him do this race so many times, so now he's going to actually do it with him. And um, Dan was telling me that, you know, he had his fun during the races when he used to do it in the 80s. Uh, so he said this time will be nice because he won't be tired, but he'll still be drinking a beer during the race. <laughs>